pacing folks, how you doing? All right. Youth force, positive mental attitude, especially now. Um, so I haven't made video in, uh, in a little while, week and a half, something like that. Um, I've been feeling a bit down in the dumps, really, quite frankly. A uh, few compounding reasons. Um, one being COVID, one being all the masks, one being my frustration with the whole situation and with the amount of people that are not giving it as much attention as maybe we could, you know? Uh, so it's, it's tricky, you know, because look, let's get straight to the point on the case rate thing that's going on, right? I've been watching some mainstream media and I'm like, they're just banging the case rate. Just like, oh, case rate today, case rate today, case rate today. And I'm listening to it like, yes, yeah, so, and? Like, through everything I've learned, and through everything, let's, let's, let's put it like this, right? Mainstream chickity chat, right? So, what the, this is what the mainstream have said since the get go, right? The A, the, there's a R something number, right? The 3.0 number that it all had to be under. And that's like death to case rate ratio, right? Now, I don't think we've ever hit 3.0. We've been under that the whole time, right? But anyway, so slowly but surely, the death rate has been going down, right? And the case rate's going up. Even if the case rate is going up like that, the death rate ain't even going up with it. So the cases are going up. The amount of people that have got it is going up. But no one's dying from it. So, the, literally, it's just like every radio station. It's just like, oh, no, and the case rate today, case rate, case rate. So, just because people are carrying it, and it ain't killing people, that's sufficient for all these measures. Like, come the fuck on a little bit, right? Like, not being funny with you, but this shit's pretty fucking obvious, man. Like, they're banging on about the case rate, the death rate ain't going up, yet they're putting in all these fucking rules and regulations, and they're just about to pass another law. I heard there's a petition to state that you do not consent. That hasn't been advertised at all, by all accounts. So, something smells like rotten shit. Quite frankly, isn't it? So I'm irritated as all hell, uh, which is why I've been keeping away from the camera. Because um, <laughs> even even I can get a bit of a bit of a mouth on me. I can get a bit of a mouth on me, and I, I don't I don't want to be remaking or re-saying or or anything. I'd rather just watch my mouth and uh, and not go on so much. So. It's frustrating time for everyone. For some people, not so much. For some people, really badly. And for others, meh. I'm caught in between meh and <laughs> um Because it just seems to me that when you step back to observe and to look objectively, it's pretty fucking obvious. But all the time, like I remember being locked into mainstream mindset and you know this is why i came up with this question what do you have to ignore to be civilized how many things do you have to ignore in this society to call it civilized and if you're not calling it that then what are we doing letting the fucking plonkers run the show you know there's no quick, easy answers for any of it. That's the that's the real talk, isn't it? There's no quick, easy answers for anything. The pharmaceutical industry, for God's sake, has got everyone tripping on fucking one pill fucking shot. The vaccine will solve it. In this case, solve fucking what? Like, vaccines normally take five to ten years in scientific research and laboratory testing before it can be hit on the mainstream, and they're talking about doing this by October. So that's where getting information helps you. Look, it's not about... Look, 
<laughs> you got conspiracy theorists and you got debunkers. They are both as dangerous as each other. If you're just a conspiracy theorist, you believe everything you say, for everything you say, everything you hear, right? You're not really like you're not looking for information, right? You're hooked on a narrative. Debunkers are just purely trying to fucking tell this lot they're wrong. And they are blindly defending the system. They are two ends of the same spectrum that are highly non-productive. You know, I'm not very good at quoting back what I've seen, who's done it, who told me what, where, when and how. I don't always remember stuff. Um, and, I mean, with the COVID stuff, just on that subject particular, it, I don't have a great deal of um, of solid scientific study from either side of it, right? Pro or anti, right? Because I'm pro-information. I'm not pro-COVID, anti-COVID. I'm not pro-masks, anti-masks. I'm pro-information. And if information... If information points a certain way, I'm going to be like, all right, well, at the moment, that looks like the path, right? There's no ma there's no major mainstream scientific, scientific evidence that says masks are good or bad. They haven't done enough testing on it in the past. The small amount of testing they have, it's been said, even on the WHO's website, that masks are not going to help. In fact, if anything, they might be slightly detrimental to the person wearing it if they wear them for a prolonged period, you know, how they word their shit, right? So all I'm saying is, people, we need to get it. Get what, John? Awareness, of course, right? We need to get it. We need to get it, folks, because sooner or later, you're either going to have to realise and face it, or you're going to realise and ignore it. <clears throat> because all this shit's getting too fucking obvious, and if you even take a step, a second to step back and look, it's like, oh shit, this ain't right. So, anyway, I'm not going on. I'm good. I don't need to hit 15 minutes. That's the way we're at now. Just popping it off. Anyway, much love to you all. Just be observant, right? The case rate is not death rate. They're two separate rates. The case rate is going like that and the death rate ain't. Right? So that's a really good thing for us. That means it's high rate infection, very low rate harm. This is a good thing. Right? That's what they're saying. They're telling us it's a good thing. But they're not delivering it like that, are they? They're telling, they're delivering it like it's a bad thing. And oh my God, we need to shut down parts of the country. So, let's just take a bit of time, observe some things, ask some questions on the internet, the modern day library, find information. Right, I'll tell you, this is how quickly I get through videos, right? I find, because I like to find independent researchers showing their research, right? Because then you've got something credible in front of you. Right? Which is more than the government ever does, right? Or their fucking corporate cronies or their royal fucking buddies. Right? That lot don't give a fuck about us. So anyway. But it's very obvious when you've got someone who's just spinning a yarn, right? Because informed people don't stand there often spending much time slagging other people off. Right? Normally like they're a poser. Like, you've got a conspiracy theorist and a debunker and they're fucking always bitching about each other. Those people ain't worth watching. Don't watch them. If it's got anything... If they bitching, playing school ground bullshit, turn that shit off. Find another video with some information in it. You know, I watch tons of stuff on ancient history. I, I, I spent quite a bit of time... I've forgotten more than I can tell you. I can tell you that now. In the last six years, I've forgotten more than I now know. It's frustrating, but so is the way of the world. Um, just start asking some questions, folks. Start asking questions. 
because when you chiggity check this shit, they're riggedy wrecking it. Case rate going up. Death rate not. Bingo! That's a win. Use the force. Positive mental attitude. Be kind with your thoughts. Keep loving your hearts and let's get it. Get what, Ziggy? He's sleeping. Ziggy, we're getting awareness. What are you saying? He's sleeping. Peace in.